just like to share with you the nature of the, the radiation sample that we're looking at here. I mean, in and itself, it's only a tiny piece of americium-241 impregnated into this little metal button, which I got out of the ionization chamber of the, um, the what do you call it, smoke alarm. Now, I mean, if you put the Geiger counter around the outside, you'll note that I'm not registering anything. So even though it's incredibly active, or quite active for a, a, an alpha source, you know, you're not, you can get quite close to this thing. And we're only registering, you know, not many counts there, so I'll, I'll just reset it. Because we got up to, what, 45,000 when we, we were quite close? And it occurs to me I never measured that immediate distance anyway. But it'd be still interesting to see the relationship between <laughs> radiation versus distance. Right, um, so let's look here. If I put it up nice and close, it does that thing, you know, it just has heaps and heaps of radiation. But as soon as I take it away a little bit, it stops immediately. The other way you can confirm that it's alpha radiation is if you put it close, but if you stick a piece of paper over the top, it blocks all the radiation. Even if you hold it up close, I mean, I'm touching it at the moment. Literally touching the... So the only thing between the alpha source and the Geiger Muller tube is this... What is this? Period 5 roll. Um, and nothing's coming through except for, you know, a few counts, which would be somewhere along the lines of being about 2 centimeters away from the source. But of course, as soon as you remove the paper, yeah, massive count. So, and even if... Um, Let's get a pair of pliers out so I can pick this alpha source up. So if I get the alpha source itself here and, you know, if I turn it around and I can put the, um, so we've got the back of the alpha source here and I can put the Geiger Muller tube right up against it and you get nothing. I mean, you turn it around and you get all your, um, whoops, all your alpha radiation. But turn around, get nothing. That's what I mean, like, this here can be considered not dangerous as long as you don't eat it. As soon as that is inside your body, it's a real problem. Then you're going to get sick. But yeah, this is why, you know, you can do alpha radiation versus distance as an uh, experiment. And it, even with a very active source like this, it's not necessarily that dangerous. I mean, look, it's tipped upside down on the, on the um, lab trolley thing here and, and I can't detect anything. I'm, I'm going all the way around it. All the metal of that tray is just absorbing all the alpha particles. So, you know, radiation is all about like what kind of radiation it is, how close you are, how active it is. There's many factors. And when it comes to alpha particles, you just got to put on a pair of gloves and you're normally alright. Anyway, thanks for watching.